Hey guys, Justin Linder here, Linder Power Systems, LPSFab.com. Um, finally carved out some time uh, to uh, start on this Volkswagen engine build. Um, it's going to be a pretty basic build and uh, I'm probably going to break it up into small segments so that I can uh, you know, explain things in better detail and give you guys a chance to ask questions and uh, comment between videos, um, give your constructive criticism. Um, the, uh, the goal of the project is, is pretty mild, um, trying to make about 300 horsepower. Um, I want really good gas mileage and, and a really reliable daily driver is basically all I'm looking for out of it. Um, you know, something fun to drive, um, not too slow, but uh, you know, not, not to the point where it's trying to tear itself apart. Um, and not to the point where I need to run any kind of fancy race gas or ethanol or anything like that. Um, I might run water injection, has yet to be decided. Um, anyway, uh, on the table behind me I've collected a whole bunch of parts. Um, I've got pistons, rods, crank, block, cylinder head, uh, a couple of turbos, wastegates, uh, things to choose from, a uh, larger throttle body. Um, I am planning on building quite a few things for the car uh, just to keep the cost down but make it, you know, trick in the long run. Um, so anytime you can build stuff, you can save yourself money, right? So you can build, build some really nice stuff and, and kind of increase the, the status of the car or uh, the value of the car or the way people see it or the way you feel about it uh, without, you know, breaking the bank. So. A lot of us fabricator guys, that's kind of how we got it started and, uh, and you know, we enjoy it and we like kind of putting our artwork into the, into the car, if you will. Um, so anyway, without further ado, let me uh, start explaining some of the parts I got here. Um, I'll start out with these pistons. These pistons I got from Molly Motorsport. Um, they are uh, low expansion pistons, so they're, they're uh, they're not going to expand a whole lot. They need a lot less piston to cylinder wall clearance than your, your typical uh, race piston. Um, they do have a dry film lubricant coating and then a molly coated skirt. Uh, have a pretty good truss design underneath the, the skirt. So I, I think they'll be a lot stronger than stock, but still, you know, not rattle when it's cold and, and things like that. Um, I got these for a good deal. Um, they're kind of what dictated the rest of the build as far as displacement goes. Um, they are a stroker piston, so they have an offset pin um, to, for an added stroke of 2 liters instead of 1.8. Uh, so that's kind of what made me decide to go with 2 liters is just because I found those for a good deal. Um, got some Chinese rods here. Nothing special. Um, just an H-beam rod. Um, I did test them. Um, sonically tested them to make sure they were chromoly and they weren't really totally terrible china parts um, but they look to be good uh, the bolts I'm a little suspect about they do say ARP 2000 on them but I'm not sure if they are a Chinese knockoff of an ARP so um, tempted to replace those we'll see uh, good hardware uh, cylinder head over here is an ADR head, so it's a it's an NA head from a German NA 1.8T. Um, so it's a big port head, and it's got a little bit more aggressive cams than your standard 1.8T turbo. Um, so I guess it wasn't a German 1.8T; it was just a 1.8 NA 20 valve. Um, but uh, so probably going to use that. Probably going to use those cams. I've looked up the specs on them. Um, as compared to stock and uh, they're actually pretty close to most companies performance cam so um, I might need to index them a little bit uh, I am going to put the VVT system on this he this head uh, so I will have cam adjustment via ECU and then uh, for the intake cam I could just get a adjustable cam gear if I so desire um, so anybody with more experience on a setup like that, comment below. Um, let me know your thoughts. Uh, I can go over the cam specs if you guys want. Uh, Cat Cams has all the specs on the OEM cams, so it's pretty handy. Uh, 
Besides that, standard two liter crank from an eight valve engine. It is just a cast crank, but since we're not going for crazy horsepower, I didn't feel the need to go forged. I don't think it's gonna be an issue. A uh, couple of turbos I have here, uh, 35R and a 3071R, uh, both of which need work. I think the 35R is probably too big for the application because I am planning on running a TDI transmission so I can get really high gears so I can get really good, good gas mileage. Um, I've had a TDI tranny in, a, in one of my Volkswagens before and I absolutely loved it. It was a highway monster, uh, you know, like 2,800 RPMs at 90 miles an hour. Like it just purrs down the highway and like nothing. Uh, so the other one is a 3071. Uh, but the exhaust housing has all these broken off bolts in it. So, and I don't, uh, it's a pretty small housing. It's a 0.63. And I don't really want to, I don't like small housings. I like to get rid of as much back pressure as possible. Um, so, what I've got is, I believe this is a 1.02 housing, stainless. It's like a tie knockoff. Um, and it does fit the wheel, but the problem is, is this bore isn't quite right. So it doesn't sit all the way down onto the center housing. Um, so I'll have to probably do some machining there if I want to make that work. Uh, let's see. So standard tie owl, 44 millimeter wastegate. Uh, I'm probably gonna run that, it's in pretty good shape. It is used, but um, gotta buy some new clamps for it and probably some flanges and things, but um, usable, uh, not a big deal, reliable. Uh, Walbro 450 fuel pump I had laying around. I do need to find a, a new pickup uh, filter for it, uh, but that should work fine. Uh, I've got some ID1000 injectors, the old style, old long body style, so they're a drop right in for the, for the 1.8T stuff. Uh, Hemi 80 millimeter throttle body. Uh, Standard gaskets and, and uh, bearings and everything else, all kind of OEM stuff. So uh, I guess uh, the first thing I'm probably going to go over is uh, how I go about balancing rods um, and then uh, checking the dimensions of the block. I have had the block machined already to my specs um, by a very trusted engine machinist. Um, I don't do that kind of stuff in-house. I don't have the equipment for it. Um, but, uh, and then I'll probably go over, you know, fitting your, fitting your rings um, and, uh, you know, checking over the block dimensionally for, for bearing clearances and, uh, and piston to cylinder wall clearances and all those things. Um, so I'm going to break that up into several seg segments um, and then I'll probably go over some hand porting cylinder heads and how to lap valves and things like that. Um, I am going to put uh, springs and retainers in the cylinder head, aftermarket ones, uh, just so I have the ability to change cams in the future without pulling the cylinder head off. Um, so that's something I typically try to do, even if I'm not putting cams in a car. I usually try to put at least, at least springs and retainers in there so that you don't have to physically take the cylinder head off again uh, if you want to swap cams. So um, I guess that's about it for now. Um, the next little segment I'm probably going to go into, like I said, uh, balancing some rods. So I'll show you how I do that. <laughs> 